Oh, hi. Just a minute. Clean the lens. You have reached the bottom of the internet. Deep within the bowels of the internet, you may find the Vegematic channel. You have to look real hard to find it because it's buried. Welcome everyone. It's been a fun time for me reconnecting with my YouTube family and uh, I, I appreciate all of you. Uh, I had a bunch of responses to my last video which I like. I mean that's why I do it is to, to keep in touch with people and say hello and have a little conversation and lo and behold I got a new subscriber so there I am. Uh, they're, they're getting out there somehow. And what should our reaction be to times like these? And I want to thank everybody who left a comment and I will endeavor to answer every comment until I get huge, which isn't going to happen and I don't want to be huge. I just want to talk to a few people and engage in intelligent uh, discourse over the internet because does it seem like you miss the days when people could have disagreements and without resorting to slamming them with horrible names and insulting. It's just so difficult in these days and that behavior seems to be carrying on in the real world. You notice it driving in the, the aggressiveness and the lack of courtesy. I mean, in Canada, oh, we've had to wear masks in public for, oh my God, well over a year. And nobody can smile at each other anymore. And I know they say the eyes are the window to the soul and all that, but really there's no substitute for interacting with people with a smile. It goes a long way. And it transcends all languages and cultures. It's a very simple thing that I think I miss the most since this whole crazy times pandemic thing started happening. But there's other pandemics going on. There's political pandemic, absolute ignorance and stupidity and following the crowd even though the crowd may be a bunch of lemmings about to be thrown over a cliff. Yes, lemmings were thrown over a cliff. It's a fallacy that lemmings all jumped over a cliff and killed themselves. Although if I were a lemming that might be a tempting thing to do. However, it was uh, discovered that the film crew threw them over the cliff and filmed them. Lovely, lovely sort of uh, cinematic masterpiece. So they could say that, hey, look, these little animals can go flying over. Yeah. It's just like, you know, you, you see the, the history of advertising and uh, there's so many you know, ways where we anthropomorphize animals in particular the obnoxious is when you uh, see these little cartoon animals happy to be here eat me I'm happy to have you just kill me and eat me and it's so gross and <laughs> if you think about it it's, it's violence and it's it's I could go off on a rant about uh, about killing animals but I won't because I'm sure uh, I'm in the minority here uh, and that's okay there's other things that matter more like uh, being a decent human being that's what I miss people being decent to each other seems like there's so much 
strife and division among people. Uh, I miss days in the past where there was at least more of a understanding that we're all in this together. I know, that's a cliche. We're all in this together. Yes, that's what rich people tend to say. We're all in this together, except I'm going to be together in my bunker in New Zealand as my oil company con contributes more to the climate disasters and I'll just go hide out in a bunker, air conditioned, you know, get a, a case of Dom Perignon champagne and uh, a few partiers and uh, yeah. Can you imagine being a, being one of those guys and the last the last survivors on a poisoned planet? Yeah, truth can be stranger than fiction. Uh, the way we're heading, it looks like the uh, the truth will win out over the fiction in the end, whether or not you want to believe truth or fiction. Well, one of my subscribers, his name. Platitudes you can't accept. So, whatever that means. Thank you for turning me on to David Robix. I like his songs. They remind me a lot of uh, classic protest songs, protest folk music. For all you young people out there, I just put together this little thing that's based on a song he released. Here we go as the planet floods and burns. Wake up another morning and see my baby's cheeks. I'm glad to be around to have another week. To watch the magic happen, find all there is to learn. As the planet floods and burns Wake up another morning Grind some coffee beans Turn on Al Jazeera Marvel at the scenes Towns reduced to ashes While the twisters turn As the planet floods and burns Wake up another morning, picking on these strings. One more day to be here, find out what life brings. The horizon's red and easy, that much I can discern. As the planet floods and burns. Wake up another morning. Watch the neighbors drive away Heading to a warehouse to work another day Leaving me to wonder how fast this wind can churn As the planet floods and burns Wake up another morning See the Twitter trolls Complain about the fascists who are living on the dole Demanding safe space in the boxcar and other such concerns As the planet floods and burns Wake up another morning, see the orange hue Know what needs to happen, don't know what to do Show me to the ark Where's the balance stern as the planet floods and burns? Wake up another morning in the now again. If I want to see the future, I can count to ten. History, you'll find it in the tombstones and the urns as the planet floods and burns. Take care, be careful out there because there's a there's all kinds of 
dangerous evils out there that you they're just sliming around and anyway you got to be careful because the world sucks these days and we all know it sucks so we got to look out for each other that's about it